People are busy doing their roles and they're, 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 they're kind of, they're in their separate swimming lanes. Um, but then that begs the question, you know, is that being really, really effective? Um, you know, I think successful organizations are ones that kind of have integrated where silos are kind of broken down, where they're looking at different kind of, you know, organizational structures and processes whereby there's that kind of constant feedback loop. Um, so I think that that's critical. Um, because it's if you're working in that system, suddenly you're starting to get a 360 view of everything. We would co-write the brief. So that's a kind of first step in breaking down that, that kind of silo. Once you have that, you're keeping them appraised of the work in an ongoing way. So you know that's critical in the sense of checking in, constant checking in, constant meetings. Um, you know, at the times when they're kind of maybe getting a bit wobbly, it's kind of helping them stay on strategy because this is what we all agreed at the outset. Um, so I think that that kind of comes through the kind of the day-to-day -day process of the agency and, and the client relationship that you have. So client relationship is key and, um, you know, our own client service teams are, are really, really good at kind of um, ensuring that the client is continually part of the process. I think that that's a kind of an ongoing kind of set of practices and processes that you have to kind of keep flexing. So, um, but that said, you know, if it's not attended to, it will, di 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 you know, kind of default back into silos. And I think it's important to kind of keep flexing those kind of behaviors, you know, um, to ensure that you don't kind of fall back into that.